Hey guys, it's Korcher and welcome to another video. In this we are talking about 3 ways to improve in hoops game mode in Rocket League. Before we jump into the video, pun intended. <clears throat> I just want to remind you that I stream on Twitch 4 days a week. Link to that will be in the description. Now let's get on with the video. Kickoffs are very important and are a fundamental skill to get good in hoops. But they are different from soccer kickoffs as you have probably realized if you have ever played even a single match of hoops in your Rocket League career. You need to always go for the kickoff in hoops because your opponents basically get a free shot on goal if you don't go. There are three positions for a kickoff. From the center, the off center and the side. If you are at the center position, boost the entire time and then do a double jump or a fast aerial to the ball. If you are at the off center position, accelerate without boost towards the boost pad and then fast aerial towards the ball. The same is true for the side position with a little bit of turning. Practice again and again to master the kickoffs. Striking in hoops is a bit different because the goals are horizontal instead of vertical like in the normal game mode. This means that the ball needs to be at a certain height in order for you to score. This is where your striking mechanics will shine. Watch tip number 4 of my recent video and I'll also link an excellent tutorial down in the description. You should know at least these 3 mechanics. The pop shot, the ground slash wall air dribbles and the basic flick. All of them will help you to clear the height of the goal that we talked about before. The pop shot is usually best when you follow it up in the air so that it is hard for the defense to save it. Air dribbling is a good way to carry the ball into the net if you can make it unpredictable enough. And the simple flick? well. It's just that, a simple flick to clear the height of the goal. Anything else that you do with the ball to make it unpredictable and tough for the defense is a bonus. Take it to free play and keep practicing. Saving the ball is just as important as kickoffs in hoops. Seriously. 9 out of 10 shots can be saved or cleared via the backboard of your net. And for that one remaining shot, you gotta hit it with your car from inside the net at an awkward angle. If you can, the best way to save is to air roll and dodge into the ball with the nose to get maximum power. Otherwise any kind of touch to keep the ball out of your net is better than no touch. And sometimes, you know. The ball will just go in no matter what you do. One bonus tip that I can give you is to consciously avoid the rim as much as possible because it is not transparent and it will hack you up. It will come in your way at the worst time and won't let you save that overtime goal that you would have saved if you weren't for this stupid rim. Oh my god, please make the rim transparent. Please, Sionix, please. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in my streams and uh, as always, thank you for watching.